So hopefully Gary Trent Jr. loses his passport on the way across the border. Put up 31. Like, bro, what are we doing? Magic could have easily lost this game, giving up 37 fast break points and losing the second chance points battle. Um, turning the ball over more than they should have. 14 turnovers. That's not going to work in the playoffs. If Jonathan Isaac can give us 20 minutes every night, there's no reason why we shouldn't gentlemen sweep every single opponent in the playoffs. I'm not joking. Biggest lead in the fourth quarter, getting up to 19. Bench was definitely running away with it towards the end. We should have won this game by like 40. Like, bro, how are are we gonna let a guy that literally looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex score 31 points on us? Like, he might as well just be the Raptors mascot. I just gotta say this, Jalen Suggs, your hairline is clapping, buddy. You got KD, LeBron, Taj Gibson as Faye, bro. Like, you gotta you gotta get that shit fixed up, buddy. Shout out to Fat Guy. Oh, also, shout out to Jonathan Isaac for meeting with the, um, the religious Toronto dude with the thing on his head. I probably offended so many people by saying that, but I do not care. There was definitely some um, under-the-table religious activities happening happening there but we're just, just gonna put that by the wayside anyways back to the game Paolo Bancaro was breaking all night so he decided to turn into a dimer dropping eight assists getting up there for nine rebounds Franz dropped an efficient 19 points six of nine from the field Suggs had a fantastic night scoring 16 points going six of nine from the field three steals that's what I like to see and oh my god when will people stop going up on Jonathan Isaac man like you're it's Brick and Morty every time that you even see him every time you see him in your line of direction it's it's a straight brick show um, um, by the way, uh, thank goodness we don't rely on Joe Ingles for defense because he literally pulled his hamstring going for a loose ball. We love you, Joe. Also, Grady Dick did not have big dick energy tonight, going 3 of 9 from the field. Let's just say he's not beating the allegations. I do give credit to Toronto, though. They were really banged up. Scotty Barnes out. Obviously, you know, that's going to affect some things. With OG and Anubi gone, Pascal Siakam gone, this team's really trying to find his, their identity and maybe sneak into a playing spot. While the Magic, on the other hand, are competing for Eastern Conference playoff spot. Trying to, trying to maybe get into that four spot. Hopefully New York can lose some games, but right now we just gotta focus on winning. I'm sorry, but I, I love Markel Fultz too. Trust me, I do. But we, at this offseason, he, he's, he's gotta pack his bags because there ain't no way. Like, we just need some shooting. We just need a point guard that can sign, you know what I'm saying? We just need a point guard that has a clip on him. Not like Brandon Miller. Polandy, for the most part, he fills that role somewhat. He's very inconsistent. He did have a decent game tonight. Four of seven from, four of seven from the field two of three from three he did his job off the bench and gonna be honest i'd rather see anthony black play than markel fultz i mean literally his jump shot like, yeah, he's good at getting to the rim and facilitating and that type of stuff, but, like, goodbye. Anyways, we're gonna look to sweep Toronto on Sunday. Looking forward to an eight-game homestand. Make sure to follow my Twitch, Magical Daily. I will be putting it in the description for you guys to go and check out. On Sunday, March 17th, I will be live streaming my reaction to the Orlando Magic versus Toronto Raptors game. Come and check it out. It's gonna be fun. Trust. We're really good at home, so we should get some home cooking done. Also, this is a reminder, Magic fans, please start saving money for the playoffs right now because i swear to god if we have half and half knicks and magic bands i'm gonna lose my mind so everybody make sure to tune in on sunday i'll catch you guys later play the song